Hey YouTube, Bugman here. Um, just going to show you guys um, termites and dealing with the foam, expand, expanding foam that people spray on, the spray foam, whatever you want to call it. This is definitely what not to do. I know it's a little bright, but um, you don't ever want to go all the way to the ground. What that does is um, enables insects, ants, termites to have perfect access without ever seeing the trails or the tubes going up the wall. And this is pretty nice crawl space. Um, house is actually two years old. So, let me show you what it looks like when you start finding. They love to excavate and work in this foam. You get your little dots showing up. And on the other side, I actually I found a tube on the outside wall, which doesn't happen a lot, but nothing there. kind of see some mud right up. I'm going to follow my light right there where it's blinding. And there's one where the joist meets the floor. Mud tube right there. And there's some more sections where just little mud pops through the foam. Um, this is a very um, decent um, small colony, not the, it's an older one, they actually a it into the house, but um, this is a case where they're not all over the place. I've been in spray foam and um, rigid foam both where it was actually, I mean, it looked like spiders going up and down, uh, spider webs, sorry. Anyway, that's just a super short video, kind of show you guys. Um, trying to do an inspection. A lot of inspectors miss that kind of stuff. Um, they go through and they'll actually just say, oh, everything's spray foamed. Um, box seals are spray foamed. I can't see anything. And they could just check their boxes. But you come through and just find that. That's all you need to really do. But you can't miss that or you're going to have trouble. All right, thanks for watching.